Hey everyone, welcome back to Cam Keyframe. My name is Bas, and in today's video I'm going to show you the different ways of masking in After Effects. So this is a basic tutorial about masking. If you are a pro, you already know this. If you are a beginner, maybe this will help you. So there are basically three main ways you can mask stuff. By using the set matte effect, by using track matte layers, or by just creating or drawing your own masks. So I'm going to show you all three of those. Let's start with this hand here. Um, we have this, uh, let's see, we have this stick here, uh, this stick. Then we have two uh, circles to create this kind of, uh, a stop sign or something and that's what we have the hand in here but i want the hand to only be visible within uh, this circle at the bottom here and then pop out so this bottom black part needs to be cut off so uh, first to create make everything nice here let's just um, parent these circles to that stick and uh, parent the hand to the circle one like that let's put that on the top and create a different color just Oh, that's the same color. I had to get a bit more organized. So what I'm going to do is go select the second cir uh, circle one here on it on top here. And the hand is moving because it's parented right now. But this one, pressing Command D and place that at the top. And I'm going to right click and go to create shapes from Factorly because this is an uh, AI file. Um, I'm going to create a shape here and it turns it gray because this uh, circle uh, shape here is, le is like this four point gradient and that doesn't work in After Effects so that's why it's turning gray but we need this um, this shape here because I'm going to uh, open this up and in the group one here we have path one we have path and we're going to change this path I'm going to select this shape here I'm going to drag it up and then create it like, like this uh, so now it covers the whole if I get the opacity down pressing T see it covers the whole hand here except this bottom part here so uh, if i place it above the hand and i'm going to call it hand mat we have this shape let's turn on up the opacity we have this shape and uh, it's above the hand and what we're going to tell after effects is that this hand shape this layer should only be visible within this layer so only where it overlaps it is visible so i'm going to go to hand and I'm gonna go to track mat here. If you can't see this, you can just turn that off and on here at the bottom uh, left and go to none. And then you're gonna select alpha mat, hand mat. So hand mat is the name of the layer right above it. And alpha mat means that it will only be visible within that layer, as you can see here. So you can still select this layer, you can still change this layer. So if I select this and if I drag it out, you can see that part of it becomes um, invisible like that. And here as well, you can see that a part of it becomes invisible. So you can create your own uh, track mats uh, if, you, if you want, of course. So if I, uh, uh, let's say I create this, this little shape here and let's turn off the alpha layer for now, get this away, put the shape above the hand and then in the hand I'm going to say track mat for shape layer one. It's only visible within that uh, little stroke there. But I don't want that, I want it in here. So let's just redo, undo that. So that's one way of adding a mask. So let's quickly um, animate this little thing here. Um, I'm going to place this uh, little thing, little thing uh, below here, like that. And everything was parented to the stick. So I'm gonna rotate this thing in here. So I'm going to make it start over here at the bottom. And then I'm going to go to my plugin motion. Here it is, and go to Excite, which gives this cool little Oh, it's way too slow. This cool little bounce effect here at the end. Let's go a bit quicker though. Like that. The bounce is a bit too hard for my taste. So I'm going to make the bounce like 20. Uh, but it doesn't really matter. Just uh, that's this bounce effect. And then I want this hand to kind of pop up uh, out of the shape. So I'm going to go to position right there. Get down here and then place it below because now it's only visible with still within this shape it's not visible when it's down here of course because it's like masked out so i'm going to hit apply on my flow plugin here i'm using a lot of plugins and now it kind of pops out like that Hit it again Oof, there you go so now it's masked uh, right there so that's one way of masking that's the track mat um then a different way of masking like this uh, shape for example we have the grid here uh, it's uh, I want this to be visible only 
within this um, uh, pink shape. So the pink, where is it? The pink square grid. So what I can do, of course, is press Command D, place it above the grid, and then for grid, go to alpha mat and you're done. That's an easy way, but then you have this, uh, this extra layer, which doesn't, isn't always great. I'm going to delete it. So what you can also do is create your own masks as I showed you earlier. So select the grid and then we're going to go to our shape layer here uh, and get a rectangle tool and I can just click and drag and create a mask like this yourself. So that's uh, the second way of masking. That's, that's just already done. Um, and the cool thing here, if you open the mask on the grid here, you can go, let's zoom in here, you can go to feather. And if you feather it out, then the edges become blurry. So that's a cool way of adding some different masking effects like that. So that's the second way of masking stuff, which is also really easy. Uh, and the third way is the set matte effect. And I'm going to go in here. I have, I have four of these diamond shapes here. The white diamond isn't necessary because I'm gonna, not going to mask it, but this purple one, I want to mask it within this black frame here. So uh, same thing here, I can just duplicate this, put it above this layer and hit the track mat, but we, then we have a lot of different layers, which we don't really want. So if I go to my purple diamond and I'm gonna go look for an effect and the effect is called set mat. And I'm gonna go to help here and just type in set mat which is easy, so you can see that it's in effects channel set mat. So I'm gonna put that on the layer which I want to be masked, like that. I'm gonna take mat from layer. Well, this layer here is called black square, layer number 16. So in this case, we're going to say number 16. So that's only visible within that shape, which is really cool. So for the rest as well, I want this shape. Oh, let's, uh, let's just uh, lock that for now. I want this shape here to be only be visible within this one here. So I'm going to go to set mat again, channel set mat, there you go. And then this shape here is called gradient 01, which is layer number 14. So select this one and go to layer number 14. Boom, you're done. Let's lock that. And this one as well. This one only want to be visible within this uh, shape here. And that is called uh, texture mat. Yeah, texture mat. So this one, uh, let's add a... Uh, set mat as well, like that, and then let's go to texture mat, which is number 15, only visible within that shape right now. And I can still move this gradient around here, the shape, it's only be going to be visible within this uh, shape. Only thing you need to um, keep in mind when using the set mat effect, if you create uh, a composition of this, so you're going to select all of this, uh, right click, pre-compose, so make a composition of it, pre-compose it. If you want to change that pre-composition, you want to uh, you're going to scale it up or something. Um, you cannot do that. Let, let, let me let me just show you. If I just select all of these layers here, and then um, uh, right-click, go to pre-compose, and then just call this test like that. And if I I can just uh, scale this up, no problem. But if I want to scale this up, and I have this button here. Uh, checked the continuously rasterize button. If I then scale it up, then and that's everything. As you can see, if I move it up, everything falls apart. And if I scale it, stuff doesn't align anymore because the set matte effect doesn't work with that. So keep that in mind when creating stuff with the set matte effect. It comes with a little bit of a downside here and there. So uh, this is really nice. Um, this works perfectly. And I'm going to add uh, some uh, texture in here. We have this really big nice texture i'm going to place it in here i'm going to put that below this uh, layer which was called texture mat and i called it that for with a, uh, on purpose of course because this uh, texture mat if i click on texture and then go to none and then alpha mat invert then it's only visible within that shape as well so the same thing we did with uh, this one here the hand over here so um, that's the basic way of masking stuff in After Effects. Uh, it's really easy, but you get to know. Uh, but you have to know these things. Um, you know, uh, one quick tip uh, again. If you let's say you have this um, fill, let's give, I have this shape here, and I want to add a mask to it, uh, but it's already a shape layer. This is a shape layer, so it's drawn within After Effects. If I click click on this button and I want to create a mask. 
what it's going to do is going to create a new shape over here, which I do not want. So when you want to do a mask like that, click on this button at the top here to, to make it say tool create mask. And then you can mask it out as you can see. And then press F and go to feather. And like that you can uh, create really cool effects. So that's it for this one. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, I'm going to animate uh, this whole scene, kind of make everything move, looking kind of nice. Uh, so you can download this project file if you want with all these designs in it. Uh, for that you'll have to support our Patreon page. In our Patreon page you can download all the project files for every video we upload. And there are also some extra, some more cool stuff on there. Some exclusive stuff and videos will get released earlier on there. So if you want to support the Camp Keyframe channel, please support us on Patreon. Look for the link in the description down below. Thank you guys for watching. I hope to see you on the next video. Bye bye.